This is a true story about something that happened to me when I was 19, well over 40 years ago, and uh, basically I was on an hallucinogenic drug, and uh, like acid, same sort of thing as acid, but it wasn't. And um, I had this hallucination which transpired, it might not have been an hallucination. So um, I've called it Grandma's Ghost. I once saw a lady in an armchair by my bed gazing down upon me while I was off my head. A spectre, born of acid, hair devoid of pigment, visage old and placid, a psychedelic figment of my imagination. And yet, her vacant smile aroused a chill sensation that froze me for a while. I pulled up the bedsheets, hid beneath them scared till after many heartbeats, and still not quite prepared. I dared to have a peep, discerned an empty chair, fell gradually asleep, relieved she wasn't there, slept off the disarray, dreamed about her not, awoke well past midday and very soon forgot. Another five years flew. My friend, a psychic, said she was listening to a relative long dead. I've got your grandma here and she wants you to know. She's always very near, now everywhere you go. She ran a list of things, dates, events, names, places, relations, gatherings, long forgotten faces of past generations and anecdotes she told of Christmas celebrations within the family fold. And I, initially, was quietly sceptical. It didn't seem to me to be remotely true at all, or so I thought before my Poetry, she mentioned, of how Grandma likes it more with rhyming words intentioned. I time travelled mentally, remembering her there staring at me intently from my old bedside chair, a very strange old dear from five years back in time. Was she now standing here, suggesting writing rhyme? I couldn't and can't decide if the elderly entity had been identified. Was this Ancient anomaly, sedentary by the bed, fair giving me a fright, a guardian ghost instead of what I perceived that night to be a hallucination induced by LSD? The psychic's revelation seemed that poetically, since rhyming is my thing, therefore this one's in view of Doris Margaret King and the ghost of who knows who.